Welcome to Las Vegas, where fortunes are made on the flip of a card. These former high school math whizzes are four of the best online poker players in the world. They've pooled their money, and for one high-stakes summer, they'll live and play together. Their goal? Two months. Two million. <laughs> Are we really close to the house? Yeah. We have hot neighbors. Our neighbors. We have like some like hot, hot neighbors. Like, hot. Yeah. When browsing through the listings online, Jay emailed them all and was like, "How many hot 21-year-olds live on this block?" <laughs> <laughs> Welcome home, boys. Bling, bling, blow. Here is the house. <laughs> oh my God! What is yeah. this? What is a courtyard? We have a courtyard in our house. We all come to Vegas every summer. Oh, man. You know, it's kind of fun to, like, stay somewhere that just oozes Las Vegas. It's probably the best pool of any other house that we ever run in Vegas. So, Krantz, where's the war room at? This way. Voila. Boom. Nice. That's pretty ill. All right, should we play? Let's play. What else are we going to do now? <laughs> we play high stakes online poker, some of the highest stakes in the entire world. The war room is our office. It's where we make our money. The first hand I sat down, I just stacked A Jones. Boom! I bases against his ace queen on queen high board. Like many online poker players, I started with a $25 deposit when I was underage and built it up to playing some of the highest stakes games online. Yeah, Brian, check out this hand I played. You jam the flop after he pots it, or do you just fold? Folding would be atrocious. Okay. Dude, he's a very low level <laughs> thinker. I've been told a few times I had a problem with authority. Never did the best in school. Ended up dropping out during my sophomore year of high school. 55k pot. <laughs> 55k pot, bang. But I have always been sharp in math, so upon learning poker, I mean, I kind of almost had plans to just start playing professionally. I'm so good. Yeah. Yeah, you've got to switch back to the mean fly trap. No, people don't take you seriously when you have, like, a female avatar. Emil, everyone knows who you are. Not sure. My parents, they're pretty typical conservative Indian family. At first, they were a little bit skeptical about me playing poker professionally, but when my mom actually found out how much money I was making, she was like, okay, you need to sit down and teach dad how to play. I'm all in with ace is ace 10. And I win, 15K up, just like that. <laughs> Easy game. <laughs> Easy game. I didn't come from a lot of money. I started off with a hundred dollar deposit. It took me about two or three years to become a 23 year old millionaire. Oh! That was sick. 10K. 10K right there. Shabbat shalom, bitch. Hundred dollars first you guess to the top. <laughs> the crown jewel. The master bedroom. Boom. Very soothing sea foam. Boom, look at that. Wake, waking up in the morning, spread your arms out over the estate. So we went ahead, walked through the house. Everybody made kind of a mental hierarchy of which rooms would be preferable. So this is probably the second best bedroom. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe my mother would like this decor, maybe. The red room. The red room. Done in great taste, of course. Not above the walls, not. All right, so this is the worst room? You'll see. So I'm gonna preface this by saying it came like this and I didn't have time to paint. Oh my god. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> you must be kidding me. You got a four bedroom house where one of the bedrooms is just absurd. It, we'll paint it. It came like this though. I don't we'll know. Paint it? The, the rest of the house is amazing. We're not gonna paint it. There is know. no I'm way there. I'm sleeping in this no, room. No, no, we're gambling. We're gambling. No way. I'm, I'm just no saying way. I'm not gonna lose. <laughs> Yeah, so we're going to play a little poker tournament. It's going to determine who gets what room. Oh, oh my god. Boom. Yeah! I'm so nervous. I don't want to lose. There's a lot at stake here. Three-way pot here. Big! Oh, you <laughs> Big room! Enjoy, princess. Donnie is the newest addition to the house. Oh, why didn't I just fold? He's definitely uh, a member of kind of the younger generation. <laughs> Believe it or not, 
Donnie being 22 and us being 25 and 26, we're kind of like a little bit old school in the poker scene. That's pretty cool. It's time to start moving shit out of here. All the creepy dolls, these have to go. Oh my god, how am I supposed to bring a girl back to this room? No one will play me. It's frustrating. There's no one who will play me on the entire internet. So this summer, the four of us, we've uh, set up this goal to try to make two million in two months. I want to sit here and stare at the screen. Can it be done? Yes. If we catch some breaks, that would help. Come on, come on, buy it for a reasonable amount of money, Asian Shark 168. God, this is sick. This guy cannot lose to me. I'm stuck like 30. You're gonna be doing some stunts. <laughs> <laughs> the penalty stunt. The penalty stun is punishment for the lowest earner for every week. And the purpose of these penalty stunts is to force us to put in as many hands of poker as possible. In the past, I've pied a meal in the face. He's dressed up as a chili pepper and gone to get a burrito from Chipotle. I dressed up as a Smurf and went to dinner by myself. Ask the other guys who they think is going to have to do the most stunts. I'd be interested. Jeez, that's crazy. I'm stuck so much. Oh my god, I just got set over set by Reason with Queens. He and Aces? Yeah. First Blue Job. How does that happen? Yeah, he's been playing some uh, epic sessions against this guy, screen name Blue Job. I cannot beat him. They've had some sessions where they get like 50k deep each. That is not going well. It might seem like it's just numbers on the screen, but it is real money. All in kings to jacks. No jack, no jack, no jack, no jack, no nine. Oh god, no six, no seven. Ah! You know, you spend a month busting your ass to make $50,000. You can lose that in one day. And that's just hard to deal with, that a month of hard work just got wiped away. There's no way we're winning $2 million this summer. Absolutely no way. You guys, like eggs are getting ten. cold. I mean, with that bet size, like... Do you expect me to fold King 10 or a straight? No. Yes. No, he doesn't. Yes, he I met these guys about two years ago. They were looking for a personal chef to cook for them while they were here in town playing. I was wondering, how could they, how could they afford me? You know, maybe I thought they were, you know, mom, dad's money. But the opposite was true with these guys. A huge pot here. Oh. Oh. They began to talk about how much money they had. But one of the guys said, I think amongst us we've got about a million dollars cash in the house. I'm like, I'm in the wrong business. It looks like I have a straight or a boat. You guys ready to eat or let me know? Oh, that bet size. These guys want to make $2 million in two months. It's going to be a challenge. You know, they can win it or they can lose it all. All right, guys, breakfast time. Let's go. Chef Robert's going to get offended if we don't. What's up, man? How you doing? Emil, I see you eating pancakes. Emil loves pancakes, and he loves pancakes with real maple syrup. You know what this is, Brian? Pure maple syrup, Emil. Exactly. All natural, U.S. grade A. Wait, I don't know. I think, I think it might not be real. Emil's a vegetarian, but he's probably the, the pickiest eater in the world. He's, he doesn't like vegetables. He eats a lot of cheese pizza, and he eats a lot of pasta. Other things, not as often. <laughs> Emil, happy birthday. Thank you. Whoever hits in person to the pool, 5K. You want to bet against me? I just saw your attempt. Maybe I'm hustling you. What are we going to do for Emil's birthday, man? Let's have a circus in the backyard for him with elephants. Indian elephants would like riding around. You could ride on top of them with like the saddle. You could take a ladder up to them. We can get we can get like carnival games too. We can set up carnival games. No, thousands of women, tons of girls. Emil needs to have a good party. Definitely. If money was no object, I'd fly him out into outer space. <laughs> That's brilliant. Let's fly him into space. We can send astronaut-themed e-bikes. Oh! All right, I'll find a place to have it. You talk to Chef about the cake. Donnie will find some girls. We'll send a meal off into space when he's never been to space before. Let me try. Oh, great. Heads up! I 
doing, Jay? Doing the power stuff. Really? How bad are you getting beaten? I don't know. Don't want to look. There are two days left in the week. I am well behind everyone. Stuck tons of money to this one guy named Blue Job.